ANC's annual gala dinner to celebrate the ruling party's birthday, there was no lack of glitz and glamour. Ministers mingled with mining tycoons in the marquee tent outside the Peter Macaba Stadium, while business people hoped to get a word in with the powers that be about possible deals for the following year. But this year, the tune changed slightly. The dinner was for free. While the ANC usually uses this opportunity to sell tables to raise funds for the party, this time the Jack Daniels soaked bourgeois and the leg of lamb was all for free. The official wine sponsor was Le Motte in Franschhoek and the whiskies were subsidized. Firstly, I need to explain why this function. Normally, we have this function and the temptation is to raise money from your good selves. Now we decided this year we will resist that temptation, strong as it may be, in a year of elections. Because we think we should highlight the fact that the ANC was formed on the 8th of January. ANC Treasurer General Matthews Poza called it a people's dinner. He did, however, remind patrons of the municipal elections coming up, which is an expensive affair for the ruling party. This year is particularly challenging. It's a, it, it could be termed to be an election year, but election years, as usual, are robust, tough, and good fun. And we look forward to the guidance that our president will provide in this regard a little later and in more details tomorrow. But as I say, this gathering here tonight is a people's dinner. It's a people's dinner. We're sitting together with the AC leadership in all these forms, in the party, in government, at various levels, and we just sit down, relax, and enjoy a dinner with the African National Congress. Two thousand and eleven will be a year where we as the ANC will face a number of interesting challenges. Our response is to mobilize as many people as possible, black and white, behind the African National Congress. And you who are sitting here tonight, there's no free lunch or free dinner. We are asking you not only to join the ANC but to support it in the run up to the elections. While the audience was by no means a cross-section of ANC voters, President Jacob Zuma used the opportunity to kick off the party's municipal election campaign. It has been a long, illustrious history for this oldest liberation movement on the African continent. Tonight, it would be helpful to look at the legacy of the ANC through some of its former presidents who led this organization at different times, facing different challenges. He quoted former ANC presidents, but notably left out former president Thabo Mbeki, whom he defeated in a bitter battle held in Polokwane in 2007. While Zuma was entertaining mining boss Patrice Motepe, who joined him for the occasion, Deputy President Kalema Mutlante was left with a sizable Chinese delegation consisting of businessmen who are involved in contracts with the government. But there is nothing like a free dinner, and patrons were keenly aware that they must be ready to share their wealth once the ANC's election campaign for local government elections kick off.